to welcome you this morning. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you in the name of Jesus from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Uh, Brampton, Canada, Ontario. Welcome once again. Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining. Invite your followers. Invite your friends on Periscope and uh, Twitter, Facebook. Invite your followers. Thank you so much. And give me hearts. Give me, I see like it's a few people. I want everyone to give me hearts. I know that uh, God is going to do you something new. Amen. I'm going to talk to you the subject goal. Do not be afraid of the enemy. Do not be afraid of the enemy. You must recognize the authority of the Lord who commands Hamis. He is the one you must respect and is the one you must fear. Do not fear the enemies. The enemies, they are there, do not fear them. Let the enemy fear you. If you fear the enemy, then the enemy will take advantage of you and start fighting you and destroy you. You don't have to, to live by, by fear. You don't have to be afraid of anything. Uh, when we look at the Bible from the book of Isaiah 8, verse 13, the Bible says, Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself and let him be your fear. Let him be your fear. Let God be your fear. And let him be your deadly. You must recognize the authority of the Lord whom commands armies. He is the one you must respect. He is the one you must fear. So the Bible says, let be your let and let him be your fear. Let God of hosts be your fear. It is only God that can be your fear. Don't fear the devil. The devil has no power. Thank you for inviting your followers. Don't fear the works of the devil. Because of fear, you know the Bible says fear torment. Fear is torment, tormentment. It can torment you so much. Do not be afraid of the enemy. The Bible says in Psalms 90, Psalms 91, the Bible says, he that dwelleth in the sacred places of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortness, my God in whom, my God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snail, from the fowl, and from the nose pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust his truth, shall be thy shelter and the bagger. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by the night, nor for the arrow that flight by the day. Verse 5 says, Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by the night, nor for the arrow that flight by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness nor for the destruction that west at noonday. A thousand shall fall at the side and ten thousand at the right hand, but it shall not come neither thee. The Bible has said, don't fear, don't be afraid. The terrors of the enemy. Let's look at verse 5, Psalms 91, verse 5 and 6, uh, 6 to 7. The Bible says, Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by the night. Thou shalt not fear for the terror of the night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. You know there's arrows that fly by that day. That's why when you know how to control the day, there is nothing can happen to you. You remember yesterday we were talking about the, uh, the, the, how to control the day. So there's um, some arrows programmed in that day that will come to you. But you don't have to be afraid of the arrows of that day. They will come and they will go down to the ground. Or they will go back to the center. So there are some terrors at the night. The, uh, some are being attacked at night. They are, they are being attacked in their sleep. They have been attacked with the dreams. They are being attacked so hard. But when you wake up, don't be afraid of what was happening at night. 
they you command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You see, the Bible is saying, sanctified the Lord of, of hosts himself and let him be your fear. And here Psalms, David is telling, Moses is telling us, don't be afraid. Look at that. He said, nor for the pestilence that walked in darkness, for the, the, uh, uh, nor for the destruction that west at, at noonday. You know, there, there is some powers working in darkness. And there is a destruction that can come to you. Don't be, don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid, afraid for them. Know that the Lord your God is the only who fear, who, whom you can fear. Because God is everything. God is your life. God is a protector. God is everything to your life. Let God be your fear. The devil will come like a lion, roaring, but he is a devil. He's a devil, but he roars like a lion to scare you. When he scares you, you fear, then he will get you. We, you don't have to live in the life of fear. Many people are depressed. They fear everything. Some people, when they call me, they don't want even to tell me their name. They don't want even to give me the number. They fear of everything. So I ask them, why do you call me? If you don't want to tell me your name, if you don't want to give me your number, why are you calling me? Say, can you read me? Can you? I said, no, I'm not a witchcraft. I'm not a psychic. I'm a woman of God. So I see people who are being tortured, tormented by fear. They fear because also what they have gone through. Some people, they call the, the, the prayer line, they call these internet preachers, they meet wicked and evil pastors or preachers, and they start tormenting, they put a lot of fear on them. But we don't have to live, we don't have to, uh, to, to be afraid of the enemies. Maybe you have a very bad exp examples from the other pastors or wherever you meet, it doesn't mean that everyone is like that. You cannot categorize everybody that they are the same. No, that is wrong. So you are going, I'm going to deal with the enemies that is making you to be afraid. A life of victory is life only if you allow the seers, the seers of the Lord of hosts to take over your life. Be, be persistent in prayer. Do not give up. God is interested. God is interested in your destiny. That is why he created you. The devil too is interested in your destiny because you are a threat to him. Spiritual warfare is unavoidable as a born again Christian. Spiritual warfare is the way to receive miracles as the enemy always attacks at the edge of your miracle and breakthrough. Pray that, that, that you know, we are... God and the devil. God is interested in you. And the devil too is interested, interested in you. So what you can do, you, you have to pray. You have to pray that, yes, thank you, thank you so much. A prayer a, a, to pray the point where the forces holding your destiny down, give away completely and permanent in the name of Jesus. When you don't fear, you pray the prayer. That will force holding your death, the prayer that, that, will, that is forcing the enemy that is holding you to give way completely in Jesus' name. When you don't fear, when the enemy is bringing destruction and you just take this destruction to waste them, you command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You don't have to fear. To, to their fear. You just set up a prayer, a prayer point that will stop that destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because you don't have to fear the enemy. That is the key. Many people, they are in, in fact even die. Without even reaching there. You just hear. I used to be with the one girl. Lady, she, 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 was, uh, she, was, she was working. Uh, and then when, when uh, uh, there was. Uh, uh, she was told that she's going to be fired. She's going to be fired. She was told she's going to be fired because of the mistake she did. Then, when she was thinking like that, 
uh, somebody told her that she has seen a letter and the letter is coming. You know that woman, she got, she got a sock and that is how she died like that. And maybe it was no letter because she didn't see the letter. She was started crying and saying that, like, where am I going? What am I going to do? Why am I going to do like that? And then uh, she, she died. People, even they die, even they, they get sickness because they fear from nothing. Don't fear what the enemy is doing to you. You will face the enemy and destroy him. Galatians 2, verse 20 to 21, the Bible says, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life live in the life. I live in the body, I, ha I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me, who loved me and gave himself up for me. I do not set aside the grace of God, for it is righteousness. For if righteousness comes through the law, Christ died for nothing. Dealing with these forces of, of, of do not fear is how you deal with them. Paul says, I have crucified with Christ. When you are crucified with, with Christ, nothing will move you. No matter circumstances around you, no matter the problem you are facing, when you are crucified with Christ, that's what Paul says. Paul gave, him, 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 gave, gave his life to Christ and he did not care, he didn't mind. That's why even he didn't marry. He said, the life I have is for Christ. I'm not saying so that you don't get married or you, you, you don't have to marry. That was Paul. That was Paul who decided to crucify himself to Christ, the life that he has. He said that, uh, he said that I do not set aside the grace of God. For if righteousness comes through the law, Christ did not, Christ died for nothing. Yes. So, you have to crucify yourself to Christ. When you are crucified to, to Christ, nothing would move you. No matter you will face the enemy. When the enemy is coming to you at night, molested you, giving you dreams of spirit, the husband, spirit wife, the husband, you see people sleeping with you. Maybe you see a very bad dreams. Don't wake up and fear. Command that spirit, the husband, command them, to, I cut you off, I cut you off into pieces. Command those, that, that spirit, husband, to cut off into pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, command the spirit, the husband, I cut you off. I cut you off. I cut you off. I command you to die. Spirit, the husband, that is coming to sleep with me, spirit, the wife, that you see, that they defile you, you command them to die. You destroy them. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the enemy. Wherever it happens, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, treasure. What is happening when you wake up? Just relax. Call fire. Call fire upon that dream. If your husband has been taken by another woman, that is a strange woman. Raise up a prayer point that will disgrace them and bind them. If you are a genuine wife of that man. That's why I'm telling women who are married, with the husband has run away with another woman. Or a man, a, a, a husband, a wife has run to another man. That's what is happening. Sometimes you find a woman is running away from his, 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 a husband to another man. Then you find a, a man has run away from his wife to another woman. If, you, if that is the case, you just set up prayer point that would disgrace them and make them not even to function. Hold your womb. Hold your one hand on your head and one hand on your womb. Set up a morning prayer that would disgrace them and make them not to function. Because you have authority over your husband. You have authority over your wife. You don't have to be sad and let them, another man enjoy your wife or um, another woman enjoy your husband. Don't let it, him to go. Unless you really want to, if, if it's so abusive marriage, you don't want it, then you can give it away. But if it's strange, the devil, the demon taking away your family, don't let him. 
You have to stand, uh, uh, you have to raise up a prayer. That, that would make you to, to start fear. You say, how am I going to have this? How am I, you start having bitterness. No time for bitterness. No time for cry. When something is happening, that is a thief, is a, a, an, an, an enemy has come. So you stand firm. You command them to be destroyed. Tell them, speak the word, it will be established. Tell them not even sleep in that bed together. Tell that thing, tell their husband thing not to function in that woman. <laughs> tell the woman, if you are a husband, tell the husband, let that thing of a woman become pepper. Let the pepper fall on that thing. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> don't let them enjoy. Take their peace away completely. Yeah? Ask, ask the Holy Spirit to go with their weapon and start weaping them. Let, tell them not to eat together. Tell them that you will not sleep in that bed. Set that bed, bed fire. That's how you can pray. Don't cry. Don't mourn. Don't gossip. Don't run up and down. Just do what you can do. Don't be afraid. Yes? If your boss is going to fire you, or it's threatening you. The Bible says in Psalms 109 that let another person take his office. Speak the word, it would be established. Don't be afraid. Don't start crying and thinking and, and wasting your time. If it is your boss, he doesn't respect you, he wants to, to, uh, to attack your sources of income, you have to mount and the word of God. Ask God to remove that man, that woman away from that position. You cannot, he cannot fire you and him or her is stayed in that position. Refuse it. If it is enemies attacking your business, attacking your work, stop, the, stop that enemies. Command them by the power and the blood of Jesus. I command you to die. You cannot attack my work. You cannot refuse me from getting a job. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. That's why... Uh, uh, the, uh, Paul was saying, I'm crucified with Jesus. When you are crucified with Jesus, you, you don't care no matter. You will fire, you will set fire prayer. You will release fire prayer from your mouth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can stand, you can pray at the prayer that you will, will speak from the heaven. You pray every conspiracy in the heavens against my destiny scatter and destruction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My body, my soul, my spirit receive fire of God and receive your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. You pray that 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 is how you command you command every spirit that is tormenting you that wants to make you fear. Don't be anger. Don't be angry. Anything that make you too angry. Just speak, pray. You just pray for yourself, for your souls. Something that would make you, you feel that you want to fight, you want to do something bad. You just pray, my body, my soul, my spirit, receive the fire of God and receive deliverance in Jesus' name. Yeah? You, 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 now you judge your body. You judge your soul, you judge your spirit, you judge your body. When you are judging your body, you are charged now. And you pray that Every power assigned to make me miss my destiny, my divine appointment. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to miss the, your divine appointment. Any power that wants to miss, to, to make you to miss uh, uh, the job. You know there are some people who are about to receive something. They are almost to get there. And then something happens, they miss it. When you charge yourself. It is very hard, it is very difficult to miss that thing. Because the, you, the enemy cannot get a chance to, 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 to destroy you. Sometimes when you, you want to you get married, some people, when they, they are arranging, they get their partners, they, they do everything, the time they are going to meet, something happen. Maybe you will start having big pimples in your face. Uh, the enemy of your breakthrough. It appears and make you to miss that thing, or to miss the husband, or to miss opportunity, or to miss a job. You will charge yourself. Command your spirit, your soul, and body to receive fire of God, to receive total deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. My Father, you say, my Father, I, I dedicate, 
I, I am dedicating myself to you. And I command any evil dedication that has been dedicated to me, I destroy them. You have to ask the Father. You command anything that is dedicated to you. Dedicated again, dedicated that that is dedicated against you. You command them to be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. You ask God. You pray like this, Father, arise for my sake and embarrass my enemies. You ask God. God, let God arise. Let God of Elijah arise and embarrass your enemies. Let God of Elijah arise and disappoint your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you can pray, my father, if I am a victim of evil dedication, I walk out it by your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Any evil dedication, in, if you are, you are dedicated by, by your father for something, you have to command it to walk out so that that bad luck in you to, 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 to go. Instead of fear, instead of talking and gossiping, talking, talking, it will not help you. Just command it. Command the Father to arise and embarrass your enemies. Let your enemy be embarrassed. That enemy who is running up and down wants to destroy you. Tell them to be embarrassed in Jesus' name. The enemy that frustrated the grace of God. In the book of, uh, let's look in the book of uh, Galatians. Galatians 2 verse, 20, 2 verse 21. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. I want to thank you, God. Yes, Jesus. You are so good, my God. Two, correction two. Yes, my God. Hallelujah. Let, let me... Jesus, thank you, Father. I want to thank you, Jesus. I want to thank you, Lord. I want to honor you, dear God. Let me put the radio off. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll thank God for everything. Yes. Okay. We continue. Gratian. Gratian 2 verse 21. The radio was half an hour, I think. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Gratian 2 verse 21. The Bible says. The Bible says. I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteous come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Yeah, there are powers that we found here. Okay, go. Yes. The enemy that frustrates the grace of God can be found in three different areas. Of spiritual confinement, evil spiritual dedication, dream bondage, development, and ungodly personal habit. With the regard of evil dedication, to pray for God to reveal to you what happened at the time you were birth and during your early years of earth. My dear sister was telling me that when she was bring my her mother was bringing and was, was was when she was in the womb of her mother, something happened when she was a baby, before she was born, and that thing has tormenting us, as affecting her. Up to the age of 30 years, the thing that was, was said about her, it is affecting her up to today. So, as, a, as, a, as, as, as you, you will pray that uh, regarding evil dedication, you command them, you take action, you command them any evil dedication, anything that is said against me when I was a child, when I was born, I destroyed them, I landed them powerless. You know, I, was, I know a man. He, he, he fear he fear so much he's afraid of everything now I was looking at him at him the Holy Spirit told me that when the mother uh, was pregnant he used fear and he scared because he didn't want to see the people to see her that she's pregnant the mother was pregnant when she was young because of that she tied the baby so hard and she was trying to have uh, uh, hide herself so that nobody can see her that she's pregnant now when the child came the child was so afraid she, the child is a uh, fear is fear but god has said don't don't fear you know if you are that a part of, but that person like that who is afraid of everything maybe you when you were born something happened to you all 
you command that demon in the name of Jesus Christ. I cast you out of my life. I break you and I destroy you. Get out and go in the name of Jesus. Anything happened to you when you were a baby or in your home, in the home of your mother, you command the Holy Spirit to destroy them and kill them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. You pray that take, take, all, take back all the legal ground given to the enemy by your ancestral parents, knowingly or unknowingly. You have to pray that today that whatsoever good things the evil powers have taken away from your life, your unconscious moment, they must, they must be returned in Jesus' name. Cry out to God like Psalms 144, 140, 142 verse 7, it says, the, the way the Psalms 142 verse 7 says, it says, Bring my soul out of prison that I may press thee. The righteous shall compass me about. For thou, O Lord, shall deal beautifully with me in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, you, you, you pray that Psalms, Psalms, Psalms 142 verse 7. It, it says, Bring my soul out of my prison. You know, fear if you are so afraid of things you are in prison that is a big prison you are put in you are in prison so you have to pray to come out from that prison to get out from that box where you are locking yourself you don't have to fear of anything the bible says even the destruction the tale of the night you don't have to fear them you don't have to afraid them you put yourself in prison. You limit yourself. You, you put a lot of boundaries of yourself. But you have authority. For example, if you had a dream, uh, bad dreams, which we call dream bondage or defilement. Defilement is the dreams that you, 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 you have sex in dreams. Or you see people in the fetus, uh, faces. Or you walk in a, in a, in a toilet. Or you see... Uh, dead people. So those are the environment which makes you that God cannot use you because you are defiled. You are dirty. And uh, there are dreams that, that will put you in the bondage. So when you wake up, the word of God expects you to fulfill your destiny. But the glory of God cannot fulfill a life that is defiled. Spiritual, dreaming, criminals always try to attack you, to attack you. So when this criminal uh, dreams coming to attack you, always to make you dirty, so God cannot use you. Especially when you have this attack of sex or things at night, that, that it defile you. It makes you to be defiled. It makes you to be, uh, to be, to be dirty, to, to, to be a sin. So what you do, when you wake up with that dreams, you set them fire. You command them to be destroyed. You command the fire of God to consume them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. The enemy, his job is to bloot, is to destroy and tempt you. That is the job of the enemy. That's why you don't have to, uh, to be afraid. If the enemy is attempting you, Jesus was attempted by every, by than any other person. But the Bible says every temptation that comes to you, God has always a way. You will come out with it. So you don't have to be afraid that I was tempted. So I was afraid I have to give it. Yeah. You can't. You cannot be attempted that you cannot be able to be set free. Every temptation has a way to come out. So you, you command anything that is not aligned with God. Let them get out. No matter. No matter what it is. You know, many sisters, many brothers. Some, some, some of them, they end up going to bed with their boss or with somebody who wants to help them. And you are a sister, you are a, you are a brother. Let that, that person die with his job or wherever he wants to assist you. Rather than selling yourself, make yourself be uh, beautiful, uh, polluting yourself. You don't have to fear. If the person doesn't want to help you, he wants you to bribe or he wants you to give, let, let that person die with those stuff. I know in the, most of Africa country, there is a lot of corruption. And many, many things you can't get anything, anything without bribing. And that is a very serious thing. Now you, you, the time is going, 
order they you lock they will lock you in prison and uh, there was a a, a a a white man he was arrested by police because he didn't have a belt in the car now the policeman told him give me five thousand dollars if you don't want to, that was their money local money which is about fifty dollars give me fifty dollars then you i you not go to jail the the man said let me go because i'm not i'm not used to bribe people and i know my god will deliver me now this person he decided to call the the, the car and they, they sent him to jail, to jail because he, he was not able to give fifty dollars now when he reached at the at the, the cell there at the at the jail then the the one girl saw the man and he looked the man was scared was uh, was was disturbed but this woman said i think i know this this white man he was a white he was a man a visitor who came to visit the country now the, that girl said no you can't go to jail what did you do that i was in bed no 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 he went and told the 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 the, the, the police force the the police in command that they say fallen here and it happened we we can forgive him then this command the police commander said if it is in this country if we break the law they cannot forgive him so he has come to jail let him get a charge let him be charged let him to go to be to charge to be charged so that command of police refused to release him then the man said okay that is that's enough enough and then now when they were taking him to, the, to, to, to prison or to fight to pay the fine something happened and then there were there were a group of people they were taking to the, to the court and then after counting like one two three four five ten and then the the, the police in charge who was taking them to to the to court said uh, i am forgiving you never do this because you are a foreigner in this country but if it is in your country you could you could be charged but i am i decided to forgive you you go so this man he said god i am so sorry i didn't do anything intentionally i'm so sorry the man was crying to god and and bleeding to god so eventually that man was set free you see the enemy make the man to fear and to give the money to bribe the police but he stand he stood with his his faith and believed that he's not going to give the money and he would face the consequences because he fell when he acknowledged his sin, when he said, I am I sin, and that's what he was saying. I did a mistake. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did. And he, 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 he said the truth. But those people, they didn't want to forgive him. And you know, the person, the police who arrested him, he was ready to, to release him if he could deprive him. But the man said no. And when the police commander was told, he said no. He break the law. If he's in the country, he will be charged. So I'm not going to forgive him. Now the person who was taking them to court is the one who had the list of those people. He's the one who God uses him to release him. So I pray that your enemies, that is making you to fear, your enemies that is attacking you to follow you, to make you to, to, to sin. Let this enemy fall down and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that enemy be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You pray against spiritual dream attackers or pollution. Dreams are pictures of occurrence in the spiritual realm. They are awesome if they come from God. They can be from, uh, from carnality, man or the devil. Defilement chase good things away so make sure that you are at if you are attacked in the dreams you pray frequently thoroughly spiritual cleansing you pray spiritual cleansing you ask the blood of jesus to wash you you don't have to have, be afraid you don't have to have fear of anything when you had this defilement bad dreams uh, uh, dream uh, attackers you ask the blood of jesus to wash you you bleed the blood of jesus once you bleed the blood of jesus once you ask the blood of jesus to cleanse you the blood of jesus will cleanse you drink it by faith i drink the blood of jesus to neutralize and take away any that anything that has defiled my body in the mighty name of jesus and godly personal action what god wants his children to be blessed but sometimes sometimes no matter how much good we do for god's kingdom for god's kingdom sin is our personal lives can still produce powerful damaging consequences 
if we are doing anything good to God for his kingdom, but the moment we sin, the moment we sin, it we will face consequences. I was reading the first king, first king 13. First king 13, there was a prophet, a young prophet who God used him so much. And there was old prophet. This old prophet went to the young prophet and lie on him and told him that the angels of God has told him to go and give it and eat in his house, which was a lie. Now, the young prophet, God told him not to eat in that country, not to eat at all. He went and delivered the message and, and, and after finishing, he was going, he was told not to go the same way he came. Now, this prophet, the prophet of God, the might prophet of God, whom God uses. Now the old prophet went and met this young young prophet and they lie on him and they deceived him. The, the, the young prophet went with the old prophet this house and eat and drink. Now, when he was drinking and eating, the word of God came to old prophet and started crying. And he started crying and saying, you young prophet, you disobey the word of God. You disobey what God told you. You are eating here. You are going to die. So this young prophet died. God killed him because he sinned. God told him not to eat in that country. And, and when he was deceived by this prophet, the prophet told him that I at the end has told me that I am also a prophet like you. Let's go to my house and eat. But the young prophet, he didn't hear from God. He did not hear anything from God. He decided to follow that whole prophet. Any power that wants you to die, that wants to deceive you, to miss the blessings of God, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You know, if this young prophet could say no, God, has not, God told me not to eat in this country, and God has not told me to eat, so I'm still... I can't eat. But because he was afraid that this, this prophet has told him that he's also a prophet and he's a holy man. So this man, because of his, he, he feared the, the old prophet that the whole prophet is telling the truth. So he didn't check from God. Now, every power that will make you to sin and face consequences, let this power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. There's some powers have said that sisters or brothers they need something from god they need some jobs they need things but you found a wicked a wicked pastor a wicked man a wicked boss who said you must live with me then i can give you this job you must do this to me told that power to be destroyed in the name of jesus in the mighty name of Jesus, ask the Holy Spirit to destroy and bind out every evil that is standing against you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, we thank you, Father. You know, in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 4, 15, the Bible says, For we do not have, for we, for we do not have a high priest who cannot, who cannot sympathize with our weakness. But one who has been tempted in all things as we are, yet without sin. But he overcome the devil. So our Lord Jesus, he knows our weakness and he sympathizes with us. When you are in that, that situation, that's why you don't need to fear the enemy. You don't need to be afraid with the devil. God, Jesus knows us. He sympathizes with us. He was tempted like anybody else. And he didn't do any sin. He was sinless. But the devil went and started attempting. If temptation has come, anything has come to you, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of your enemies. That's why I'm saying that you go by fire, by thunder. You use the thunder of God. You use the fire of God. Thunder them. Use the thunder of God. The Bible says the prayer of the saints, it goes with the thunder and the fire. And destroy the enemy. That's why you need to be prayerful. You need to know how to do the spiritual warfare prayer. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The Bible says in James. In James 4 verse 7. It tells us. Submit therefore to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee away. Submit 
The Bible says, therefore, to, therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will free away in Jesus' name. Submit. Submit to God. Resist the devil, and the devil will free away. Resist the devil. Resist the devil. Refuse the devil. Resist him. He will run away. He will go. You are overcomers. You will defeat the enemy by the way in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, Jesus. I want to give the glory and the honor. You have to arrest a sestra. A, 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 a you have to ask no. You have to arrest every arsenal protection against your life. You command them to be arrested by fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. In the, in the book of Psalms 94, verse 21. Psalms, the book of Psalms 94, verse 21. Yes, Lord. Jesus, you are so good, my God. Jesus, you are so good. Psalms, in Psalms 94, verse 1. Verse 21, the Bible says, They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and they condemn the innocent blood. They gather together. The enemy gather together. Psalms 94, verse 21, the Bible says, They gather, they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and they condemn innocent blood the enemy they will gather together to condemn you to charge you to gossip you to take away good things but don't worry don't be afraid as uh, don't be afraid just pray the prayer bind of the wicked a sign against me hear the word of the lord break in jesus name those wicked that is are, are gathered together against you 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 command them to be to be destroyed to be destroyed and call them by the name and command them and assemble them together and command them to be destroyed and destroy them in jesus name because they are gathered to condemn you to judge innocent you are innocent you have not done anything but them they found guilt they, they found something to, to judge on you to condemn on you every power of dream development affecting your life Scatter and die in the name of Jesus. I pray that every power of dream development affecting your life, I command them to be scattered and die in Jesus' name. Some dreams, it is affecting people. They, they affect you with sickness and diseases and they defile you. So I command them to catch fire and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Strange voices holding you down, I command them to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. My God, I want to thank God. I want to pray that God will protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. I am praying that God will destroy every works of the enemy. I am speaking to the demons of fear. You demon of fear, get out of this person in the mighty name of Jesus. Demon of fear, out. I cast you out in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demon that is attacking you, that is making you to be afraid, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I command depression demon to come out in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every evil assigned against you to come out in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft attack, attacking you, attacking everything to make you afraid, Come out in the name of Jesus. I am cursing every, everything that is working against you. I command them to come out and out in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The person who does not, uh, the enemy that broke you from reading the word of God, that does not want you to read the word of God or to pray because you are afraid of anything. Let it come out. I cast them out in the name of Jesus. The enemy that make you, you cannot even drive. You can't, you can't drive. You have a driving license. You have a, you have a car, but you cannot drive because the enemy makes you afraid. Let that enemy come out in the name of Jesus. The enemy that is afraid of, of the job that if I'm taking this job, what will it going to happen to me? You are afraid of everything. Let that enemy to come out in the name of Jesus. My God, my Father, 
I want to thank God and I thank you. I thank God because of, of, of your life that he has given to you. My God and my Father, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, God. My Father, deliver your people. Deliver your people, my God and, 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 my, and my Father, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of fear, every spirit that is making people to be afraid, afraid, let them be destroyed. They will not be afraid of the enemy because the enemy is on our feet. You, we have to step on them and command them to be, to, be, to be destroyed in pieces in Jesus' name. Lord, I want to thank you, Jesus. I want to bless your name. I give you the glory. I give you all the honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you so much. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isiki saying bye-bye to you. Go to our web, website, www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca. Thank you, thank you, my sister. I miss you. I haven't seen you for a while now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Write to us. Our email address is overcomersdhm at gmail.com. Go to our website once again and donate an amount to our ministry. God will bless you. God will bless you. God of overcomers is a life God. That, that answer by fire. Thank you so much. And our numbers are 647 608-5207. Our, our, our number, maybe you try, we have three different numbers. If this one is not working, try the other one. We have a toll free number, 877-241-3420. Then we have another number, 905-487-7196. So, or if you go to our uh, YouTube Yes, yes, thank you so much. If you, you, are, you go to our website, all the videos and the contact is there. Our website, all the information is there. So go there and get the information and go to our website, donate an amount. If you want to donate, call us and let us know the way we can help you. There are so many ways. You can donate through Western Union, through MoneyGram, through Money Order, check. You can send by post office. You can always ask us. Which way do you, do you want to donate? Thank you for those who have been donating. Thank you so much. God bless you. I love you so much. There is nothing I can do about it. Tomorrow, we are on 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock a.m. We are on Sunday service tomorrow. I am I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to start morning prayer again because it's very important to attack the morning. This three month study we are facing, it is called the month of Ember Month. So we need to have a lot of prayer. If you can fast, you can fast. Monday, we are starting our deliverance school. So I'm asking you, if you have not, if you have not, if you have not registered, you can go ahead and call for registration. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. See you tomorrow, 8 o'clock a.m. We don't have midnight, but if I come midnight, no problem. But... For sure, tomorrow 8 a.m. I will be on again. Thank you very much. Thank you, prayer line. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. God bless you so much. Have a wonderful time, people of God, in Jesus' name. Bye. This is your host once again saying bye-bye, bye-bye.